Hello my friends, William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. A day or so ago I made some juice that had so much turmeric and ginger in it, it tasted like medicine. So today I'm going to make some carrot only juice and mix it 50% with this juice from the other batch. And I hope that's going to make it taste better. Taste is very important when you make juice. If it doesn't taste right, you're not going to drink it. So let's make some carrot juice. As usual, I'm going to start with three ice cubes to cool down my cutter and my feed tube. But first I'll plug in the thermometer, turn it on. One of the great advantages to the front-loading feed tube is that you can actually see what's going on in here. And usually what I do with my last two carrots is put some pulp in here because there's always a plug of carrot or some other produce in here. And I want to force that last plug through. So let's do that now. And also I want to point out since there's no other produce in here, there's no need to mix it. We'll go straight to making pure carrot juice after I clean the grid and the grid holder and the feed tube. So we'll unplug the thermometer, clean the grid and the grid holder, and then we'll make some juice. Now as I said earlier, there's no need for mixing because we're doing pure carrot juice. So I'm folding this into thirds and watch my folding technique. I'm going to grab this front flap with my fingers and tuck it under Flatten that, set it aside, and we'll start by putting two cloths full of pulp in the juice tray, centered left to right, centered front to back, make any adjustments if you need to, all the way back, and back it off a little bit, and we'll continue. Three scoops. Fold it into thirds. Flatten it. Pull this into as tight a package as you can, a little crease at the front here. And then with my fingers, as you'll notice, you pull that under into a tight package. Set that aside because we're pressing two cloths full of pulp at one time. Again, flatten that, pull it into as tight a package as you can make. Fold it here at the front. And with your fingers, pull this into a tight package, as tight a package as you can make it. Set that aside and continue. You notice how I have a rhythm going here that saves a lot of time. This goes forward, that goes over. Spent cloths go on top. Now we're almost full here, so we have to keep an eye on that bowl. In the center, left to right, front to back, all the way back, back it off. I'm down to our last cloth, so I'm going to put one scoop in here. We're full, so I'm going to back that off. I'm not going to press it all the way. I don't want that to overfold. Pull that into thirds. And later I'm going to show you how I get 10% more juice using a Whole Health Foundation premium model juicer. So this goes forward, that goes over. These are not fully pressed yet, so I'm going to leave them in the press but I'm going to put the press back so it's very, very obvious. Not just a little bit, but a lot. The reason you set it back is I don't want this to drip on my countertop. So let's fill some bottles with juice. Now all of these bottles that I have here are the former juicing attempt with the excess of turmeric and ginger. So what I'm doing is pouring in some carrot juice to dilute this a little to make the flavor a little better. And these four I had already put some spirulina in, so... Okay, let's make a little more juice for the rest of these bottles. And you notice I'm leaving 5% to add some water. Two more cloths full into the press, and again, centered left to right. 
centered front to back. That's very, very important to get it right in the center, making the adjustments you need to all the way back, back it off a little bit. Now what I'm going to do with this spent pulp is I'm going to form it into a tight package to demonstrate how the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer can make over 10% more juice. Now you'll notice how I'm forming this spent pulp into a very tight package. I'm going to fold this under two or three or four times, as many times as I can, to make a very tight package. And you notice my folding technique again. And I'm doing it that way so that it minimizes slippage and we'll do that in both directions. And here you will see I have made three double packets of repackaged pulp. Now I'm going to use a measuring beaker to measure how much more juice we can get using the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer. Now in the center, centered left to right, centered front to back, and getting it in the center with this repackaged pulp is very very important so all the way back and this time I'm going to wait for juice flow and then back it off because I don't want this to slip and as soon as I get juice flow I'll back it off a little bit and when I determine there's enough traction there I'll advance that all the way of juice just from the repackaged and repressed cloths. Let's set that back. We'll pour this in here and continue filling the bottles. And there we have the former uh, juice batch mixed with 50% only carrot juice. Now these four I had already mixed in some spirulina powder, that's why they look more green. These are just the former batch with 50% only carrot juice added. Well my friends, here you can see five, eight bottles of juice and another eight from the uh, original and I've mixed all of these 50% with carrots and 50% with the old batch that had 180 grams of turmeric and that was way too much. So each of these bottles now has 90 uh, grams of turmeric and should taste better. And I remind you, one of these bottles was pressed from the reprocessed pulp, so we actually got a little over 10% more juice. So let's do a taste test. Well, here we have the original batch of eight bottles that have been mixed with 50% carrot juice because the original formula had too much turmeric and the juice tasted like medicine. So let's see what it tastes like now. Oh, this is much better. So this batch has 90 grams of turmeric. Normally I put about 100 grams in a small batch and 120 in a large batch. Here's your health, my friends. I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760 seven five three zero three two one my email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com i'll see you in the next video